Hello and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Thomas Downs, Rochester, New York. Spiritual warfare works effectively. Aren't you supposed to be part of a new season? Are you still sitting on the fence of what the Lord has been saying to you? You have been asking for grace to help you in your time of need because you have been or were approaching his throne of grace. Does a baseball pitcher pitch the ball just to get it back because he threw it? Is that all there is to the game? What's the purpose of a strike? The goal is to get three of them to eliminate the threat of the opposition scoring against you. Remember that. It requires more than one effort to be effective. Sometimes we can miss the strike zone, but you can still get a batter out if you keep pitching your best. Spiritual warfare works the same way. The word of the Lord says to you, resist the devil and he will flee. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. James 4, 7, James 5, 16. You have the authority to throw strikes against your adversary with every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The adversary is trying to throw strikes at you at the same time as you are. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in the pulling down of strongholds in God, utterly casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Start pitching your best pitch against your adversary, the devil. The word of the Lord is in your mouth, even upon your lips. It is the sword of the Spirit, which is the rhema word of God. It is life-giving spirit. For the people who do know their God shall be strong and take action. Give yourself over to the calling of the Lord and what he has given you. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty in which Christ has made to free and do not be entangled again to the yoke of slavery. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. You are not on the defensive side of the battle. You are on the offensive For the Lord has been saying to you, I give you the keys of the kingdom. The gates of hell will not prevail against you. Matthew 16, 19. Matthew 16, 18. It is time for you to get up and fight. To fight for your life in Christ. Fight for your family. Fight for your homes. And fight for your sacred honor in the kingdom. The Lord says, For no weapon formed against you will prosper. It will not prevail against you. The words spoken against you, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the Lord, and your vindication comes from me. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but Lord, we battle against the heavenlies. We battle against Father. Those imaginations, those strongholds, Lord, those things that set themselves up above you, and we say, you're no match for our God. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine like David said? He's no match. He's no match for our God. Lord, I thank you that we can wage war in the spirit, that we can pray over a thing and it shall be done, that we can bind and loose. Lord Jesus, that we can command the heavenly host. Lord Jesus, may we do that today. Lord Jesus, may we be so focused on our spiritual warfare that the things of this world grow strangely dim. Lord, may you decrease. May we speak your rhema words, Father. We know, Lord, that when we battle with you on our side, it works effectively. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.